So, dito sa Philippines, um, how is racism here? How is it expressed, do you think? Oh, yeah. Um, well, of course, malawak yan, but let me give an example. So, let's go to, straight to the point. Yung Chinese. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. The Chinese people have long been dealing with people in the Philippines, even before the Spaniards came. No? Uh, they traded with us, no? and then some of them, the Chinese influx actually came when the galleon trade started, when the Spaniards, Spaniards came here, and there was opportunity for trade. So, dumami sila. The problem eh, was, these Chinese were segregated already by the Spaniards. So, you're only, you can only go to one place. You can only live there and you can, the lim- limited ang pag-alis-alis nila. So, yun yung lugar na yun, tinatawag nating Parian. So, the Parian is the um, area outside in Tamuros, where Lawton is now. Oh, the ethnic Chinese. Now, of course, if you become Christian, if you convert to Catholicism, uh, they can put you to Binondo. Now, ayan problema dyan. Um, the ethnic Chinese, kinuha silang crew ng mga Kastila sa mga barko nila. And the Spaniards were so mean to the Chinese crew that at one time, they killed the leader of the ship, which happened to be the governor general. So, the, the Spaniards retaliated. And they had, for many, many years, series of massacres where in one massacre, they will kill 25,000 Chinese, men, women, and children. Maraming beses na nangyari yun during the time of the Spaniards. So, one... For the Spaniards, yung, yung kapraningan nila that, you know, the Chinese are bad people mm-hmm. and that they are, you know, parang there was one time that they had the massacre because when some mandarins came to the Philippines, parang they felt that these were spies from China. And so they retaliated to the local Chinese population. So may ganung context, ano? Now, we assume that before the coming of the Spaniards, the Chinese were Already. looked upon yes. by Filipinos uh, because we were trading with them. Mm-hmm. And, parang, and, and you will see that we, we actually uh, pinaprecious natin yung mga jars, yung mga Ming jars from China kasi natagpuan sila sa iba't ibang lugar sa Pilipinas. So, wala tayong bad... Uh, bad blood against the Chinese. So Bef- only the Spaniards. Before the Spaniards came. So the Spaniards were the ones who parang taught us racism. Na racism in a way. Kasi, it, first of all, they were racist against us. They, they were colonizing us in a way because we were, we were the heathens. We were the barbarians. Kaya bang baridad, sabi nila. Diba? Uh, tayo yung mga uh, yung mga stupido. No? So, they were looking down at us, and they also, they, with the way that they treated the Chinese, in many ways, a lot of Filipinos also looked down on them. That, by the early American period, we will see some comics that were printed. Ito, nakalagay, apat na especialidades ng mga inchik. Para sumapampansit lang lang, and then it shows a Chinese guy with pigtail, so of course, this is the stereotypical Chinese guy at the, during the time of the emperors, putting a cat in the soup. So, naglalagay oh. siya ng pusa. So, the other one, para sumarapan chocolate, a Chinese guy sweats himself on the drink. So, yung mga kadiri, no? Para sumarapan chicharon, and para sumarapan tira-tira, the Chinese guy spits on the food. From Filipinos ito. Ah, from Filipinos? Kasi ano na to, eh, early American period, eh. So, naipasa na yung ganong klaseng... Ah. Uh, pagtingin. And of course, at that time, of course, the Chinese were even working for the Spaniards and sometimes for the rich Filipinos. But, iba pa to dun sa Chinese mestizos because the Chinese mestizos would eventually rise in the society. Oh? Now, um, eventually, of course, we all know that the Chinese will become rich because of their business practices. They, they will they will be able to, kasi ang, ang tawag namin dyan yung tubong lugaw. Mm-hmm. So, ang di, sinasabi lang, Chinese daw madaling yumaman kasi dahil sa sobrang mura nilang 
ibebenta ang isang bagay ay na, ano mas marami yung kinukuha ng tao pakiyawan kaya mas malaki yung kita ng Chinese so parang dahil dun sa ganung business practices nila gumanda yung kanilang katayuan sa buhay but of course by the 1970s uh, very similar to what will happen to the Jews kasi ganito yan eh. the Jews did not integrate with the local population in Europe That's why a lot of people hated them. And of course, this gave rise to anti-Semitism which led to the horrible things that happened during the Holocaust. But, by the time of the 1960s, 1970s, the Chinese, a lot of Chinese will become rich in, their, in the localities. Parang ang nangyayari, kina, uh, yung mayaman ang mga Chino dito sa Pilipinas at tayo yung walang trabaho. This is very similar to what the Germans said to the Jews na parang the Jews are becoming rich at ang Germans ang walang trabaho so if you're going to look at this dito mo malalaman na yung anti-Chinese sentiment was already strong even before that hindi na nagsimulang maging strong now but in all fairness that at that time yung mga anti-Chinese na ito sentiment were ill-informed Yeah. Kasi Pinoy na yung mga yun eh. Mm-hmm. They're just some Chinese heritage. Or at least they are Chinese who chose to live in the Philippines. They were already Chinese Filipinos. So some people differentiate that today, iba naman yung sinasabi ngayon na hatred or parang discrimination towards the Chinese. These are now parang ethnic Chinese. Pero for a lot of Filipinos, I will tell you, they cannot tell the difference. And historic din yan. Why? Because during the time of the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, the Philippines did not have a way for the ethnic Chinese who were born in the Philippines or for Chinois, eventually they will be called Chinois, to become Filipinos. Kaya nga, if you're going to a, 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 a Chinese school at that time, actually the Chinese schools here were run by people who are faithful to Chiang Kai-shek. And then, of course, Marcos, when he became president, disallowed the use of solely or purely Chinese characters in the restaurant and the business signs. Pinatanggal niya. Oh, kasi when we are in the Philippines, this must be Filipino signs. And, of course, Marcos, it seems he was anti-Chinese, but in fairness to him, he was the one who actually legislated that Chinese uh, and people with Chinese heritage who are now living in the Philippines and with Filipino families can actually have Filipino citizenship. So they were integrated. So yun yung, yun yung, yun yung naturalization. And uh, because of that, we are now recognized as yeah. uh, Filipinos. So this, this the Teresita Angsi, of course, says that they, we, uh, we are Chinese Filipinos. We're Filipinos, but with Chinese heritage. So that's that's that's. But but again, um, that's the difference between racism at that time, which was directed towards Chinese Filipinos. But now you have a different game. Is it okay that I just talk yeah, and yeah. talk? No. Okay. Uh, it's a different game. No. In 1999, they started to put up these small buildings in what we the contested Spratly Islands. And, uh, of course, that angered the Philippine government, who believes that those islands were part of our territory, and other Southeast Asian countries were also angered because of that. Because they felt that, you know, these are, you know, our territories. And uh, we did not realize that for the longest time, since 1940s, they actually believed that those islands were theirs because of the Nine Dash Line. We did not know about that. So, uh, what happened was, that uh, eventually, of course, um, these, they will escalate their presence in the South China Sea. That's why our Chinese, anti-Chinese sentiments is now directed with the People's Republic. So they, we now see them as the new, uh, the new occupiers. We are the new colonizers. And uh, sometimes we also fear, a lot of Filipinos fear, that the Chinese will, not, will, will, will conquer us. Uh, which I think is not, 
not a very good venture for the Chinese if that happens because the, the Filipinos have a big trouble, I tell you. Mm. So they only wanted business. The Chinese, you know, they only want to have money, except that, you know, because of what happened in the West Philippines, see that America is also um, uh, making her presence felt in the South China Sea, that the Chinese started building all these structures. So because of this, a lot of Filipinos now, you will see that they do not like China. And the problem is, because of this, um, polit this, because of this issue, some Filipinos were not informed of the difference between the Filipino Chinese and the ethnic Chinese. Their anger is directed towards all of those without knowing the difference. And in fact, I do not encourage that even with the West Philippine Sea uh, issue, that we become ma mad with the Chinese people, Chong Koren. We do not want to get mad at them. We are mad with what the, their government is doing to our country. We should not be mad on the people. Because they wala naman silang kinalaman dyan. Diba? Yeah. But the Encom scare actually um, worsened uh, all of these uh, prejudices that because Duterte now, the president, is siding to China. They use now the West Philippine Sea and the NCOV issue to direct tirades against Duterte by also uh, who is? Be, uh, the, some people, some, some people who are mad at Duterte. They, they now, you know, um, give racist remarks against the Chinese because they believe that Duterte's um, weakness is his Chinese connection, is his bias for China. So, although in many ways that is, um, that is valid, that criticism is valid, you direct the criticism to the government of China, not to the people. You do not wish the ill to the people of China. You do not do that, right? So that's why I think that some of these reactions are in many ways exaggerated. And of course, when, when the coronavirus happened, um, the closure of, for example, of the closure of the Philippines to Chinese tourists and workers who are coming in happen is because we have to protect ourselves and hopefully not because we do not like the chinese so this is temporary we have to be clear about that it's not because of racism